Welcome to my film review of The Prodigy. Um, you may have heard the saying The Prodigy before from the music band. Uh, sadly, is it Keith, Keith Flint, the lead singer? Just sadly passed away not that long ago. And remarkably, a movie called The Prodigy came out very, um, very shortly after. Um, I was a huge fan of The Prodigy. Um, very sad news, but that has no reason, nothing to do with the reason why I went to see this movie. The reason why I wanted to see this movie particularly badly was because it's a horror. Basically my favourite genre. Even though I would say I typically um, feel a little bit disappointed with most horrors, not necessarily always disappointed, but let's just say I'm a thrill seeker, seeking the ultimate thrill, and I'll go and watch as many horrors as I can to try and find the perfect thrill. And The Prodigy gave a decent stab at that today. It was definitely a good effort. So if you're a horror fan, this is definitely a movie, definitely, definitely a movie that you want to see. Um, if you're not a horror fan, um, I know like my sister, no matter how good I tell her a horror is, she just won't go and see them because if you don't like horrors, <laughs> they might freak you out. Um, you know, in a way that you don't enjoy. So if you don't like horrors, this movie probably isn't for you. Um, ask yourself the question, for instance, are you a fan of The Exorcist? Did you enjoy The Exorcist? Do you like The Exorcist? Is that your kind of movie? Because if you hate The Exorcist, then yeah, that probably disqualifies you for going and watching this movie. But on the other hand, like I say, if you like your horror, you like your Exorcist kind of films, then you're definitely going to want to check this movie out. I really, really enjoyed this movie. Um, just to get it out there straight away, there was actually, believe it or not, one point in this movie where I actually jumped. Now, for me, that never happens. I still enjoy horrors, even if they don't make me jump. I, I, I don't not enjoy them, but I'm always looking for that horror that makes me jump, you know. Uh, not not a, a cheap thrill, either, just by, oh, a loud bang all of a sudden. I mean, that never works with me. That wasn't what it was. It was a, a, a little, whoa, scary, whoa, sort of a moment. So that, to me, the fact that that happened, it only happened once, but nevertheless, for that to have happened to me in a horror movie... I can't remember the last time that happened. I was probably 13 or something. I don't know. But um, so that's a big, 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 big tick. Um, tick. A huge tick for this movie. The fact that it managed to do that. So kudos to the prodigy for actually making me quite terrified at one point. So yeah, all rounder as horrors go. This is this is a great movie. Definitely one that you want to see. It um, it gets going reasonably quickly. It's on for ninety five minutes, um, an hour and a half. That's typically a good length for for a decent horror movie because you don't want all the fluff, getting to know characters, boring stuff. You just want to go straight into the spooky, freaky kind of stuff, and that's exactly what this horror does. So um, in that regard, yeah, massive massive tick. And it does it. It does it quite early on. Uh, it doesn't doesn't mess around. Gets going pretty quickly. Wasn't boring at all. Uh, I was quite happy with the pace and everything like that. It it, it did it. It it, it. it was a good smooth horror um, that that played out very well. And um, yeah, it had its moments that were incredibly freaky. Uh, the storyline in itself was quite enjoyable. Sometimes. A uh, horror story, uh, uh, the storyline of a horror might make no sense. Um, I seem to remember Hereditary, for instance, um, being really disappointed with that. But this is this is a this has got a decent bit of a story going on, so that's always an, a, a nice bonus when a, when a horror movie actually has a story that you're enjoying, and it definitely had a few freaky bits as well. So yeah, and the way it ended as well, I was happy with. Uh, had a had a very uh, pleasing ending for a horror movie, and um, I hung around until the very end. It kind of gave a feeling there might have possibly been one last scare after the credits or something, but but there wasn't. So you can you can tick that off your list as soon as the movie finishes. There's no additional stuff, so feel free to leave straight away. Although if you want to be mildly freaked out, the very very end, just before the picture completely comes to an end like the very very last bit of credits 
you get a bit of a humming tune um, that was a kind of uh, an element of the movie, a tune that, that is is from the movie, like a, a hummed, creepy kind of um, sa- sound effect, basically, just at the very close. But to be honest, it's not really worth hanging around for. If I was you, I would just feel free to vacate the movie house straight away. So I think that's probably all I can really say about the movie, I think, um, in terms of uh, framing it for whether or not you know, you can judge for yourself whether this will be your cup of tea based on what I've said. I don't really think there's much more I can say other than, like I say, sincerely, sincerely enjoyed this. So let's go through our key points, our key review points, and we'll start with a score out of 10. Now this, this is going to be a good score. I, I, I can't really go above 8, but I'm going to be 7, 7.8, 7.9, maybe an 8. It was decent. It was very decent. I'd, I want to go to 8, but um, I, a horror has to be pretty exceptional for me to for me to get into the 8s. So I'm, I think I'm going to come just short at 7.9. But, you know, that's a good score for a horror, a 7.9. That is a very, very good score for a horror. Um, a horror that scores a 7 is doing really well. So, yeah, I'm going to give it a 7.9. Now, is it worth going to see at the cinema? Now, this is a big yes, a big fat juicy yes. If you like your horror movies and you know that this is going to be the kind of movie that you want to see, then you absolutely want to see it at the cinema. See it at the big screen. I would probably suggest don't go on one of the days where you pay full price. I don't think it's quite worth paying full price. I think if you're going to pay like £10 per person, I would probably recommend wait till it comes out on DVD and treat yourself and buy it on DVD. But if you can get it in there for, you know, buy one, get one free, make up movies, or you've got a cheap cinema house where you maybe only pay £5 each or less, then yes, absolutely bite your hand off. You definitely want to go and see it at the cinema. But it's, um, it's probably the kind of movie where if you watched it at home, as long as you had it, as long as you watch it with the lights out and you know, um, with with the, the volume nice and loud, you know, um, I could imagine this would be just as creepy to watch at home. Uh, definitely be a good one to watch tucked up in bed, you know, that kind of a movie. So um, definitely worth going to the cinema to see, but equally, this would also be very enjoyable at home, as most horrors are, let's be fair. There's nothing like being creeped out in your own home to a nice horror. And in terms of where you want to sit, now, I sat right at the front, and, and uh, oh, good news, by the way, the cinema house was completely empty. I literally had this screen in completely to myself. It was awesome. So what I actually did on this occasion was I actually moved from my usual seat, where I always sit in this particular screen, and I moved around a little bit. I moved back, and I moved forward, and I tried different seats out. Now, the key thing for watching this movie is to be central because there's stuff going on on the on the left and the right hand side of the screen so if you're if you're sat too far to the left like I was originally then when stuff comes up on screen that's supposed to be freaky if an element of it is on the opposite side of the screen which at times it is you're not able to quite take it all in and get the instant effect that you need so I would suggest the pl- best place to sit for this would be dead central so try and get yourself a central seat and be as close forward as you feel comfortable. Definitely the, cl- the closer the better with this one. I also watched the, last, the very last bit right at the very front seat and that was fine. But I find the best seat for this is where you're in the centre, close enough so that you've got, you know, you've got it in your face. But, um, you know, you don't want to be, you don't necessarily want to be right at the front on this one. So I hope that helps you choose where you want to sit when you go to see this. Uh, We've discussed that there's nothing at the end worth hanging around for. So is it a popcorn muncher? Crap, I have to admit, I can't remember. Um, Because I was in the cinema on my own, I wasn't really thinking so much on this occasion about how noisy it was. I would say it didn't seem overly quiet, 
but it wasn't overly loud either. So it's probably the kind of movie where, to be honest, you probably don't want to eat for this movie. I actually, on this occasion, didn't have any ice cream or anything. Uh, you know, and as soon as the movie started, it was nice just to be gripped. No distractions, just watching the film without any eating to do or, or to distract you. So I would suggest it's only a 90 minute movie. Give the popcorn a miss for this one and just enjoy getting absorbed straight into the movie. Now, I noticed that it was a 15 certificate. I wasn't sure when I was watching the movie and I thought to myself, could this be an 18? Is it possibly an 18? I thought it might have been, but in actual fact it is only a 15. It felt like it could have been an 18 though and I think that's a compliment, you know? Because I was thinking, this kind of is freaky and quite, you know, some of the stuff that was happening was quite extreme. Um, some of the language and such like being used but I guess you can be 15 and hear that kind of language in a cinema house so yeah and there was some freaky bits that happened I just thought of another bit that happened that was um, kind of disturbing you know kind of shockingly disturbing um, so it's kind of it's got it yeah it, this is a great movie this really is a great movie I, mean, I can't remember whether I gave this an 8 out of 10 I think I gave it a 7.9 but it's, I'm upgrading it this is an 8 out of 10 this is a very good horror it needs that it needs to reflect the fact that it made me jump as well. And, uh, yeah, just an all-round, very, very good movie. And, um, yeah, I don't really want to say anything that I want to say because it might give you some clues and some hints about how the movie pans out and such like. So I will just leave it there and I will just say that this was an absolute cracker of a film, definitely one that you want to go and see, if you're a movie fan, if you're a horror fan, get yourself to the cinema to see it. And if you miss it at the cinema, make sure you watch it late at night at home with the lights off, tucked up in bed and freak yourself out. Cracking film. Yep, I think this is one to be enjoyed by all horror fans. Uh, particularly in if I was to compare it to The Hole in the Ground, which was out recently, for instance, this was so much better than the hole in the ground. I, I didn't mind the hole in the ground. It was it was kind of okay, but um, this was this was so much better. I've been to see three movies today, um, and this was actually the best of the three. So yeah, ended ended on a high. Late night showing of the prodigy, and it did the job. Freaked me out a little bit. Made me come out feeling very satisfied as a horror fan. So yeah, go and see it. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I'd love to get into some discussions about, um, you know, the, the type of movie that it was. Obviously, I don't want to spoil that by discussing it on my review. But in the comments, get in touch, let me know what you thought. And what's, how would you compare it? What, what movies would you compare it to? Or is it a complete unique one? Is it like a movie that you've never seen before? So, yeah. I thought it was quite unique and had a good concept which is great for a horror movie. So, thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next review.